खेल एट मानव जीवन को अभिन्न अंग बने जोड़े ये बेला र यही सन्दर्भ में रहकर यह बुद्ध स्पोर्ट्स बुद्ध टेलीविजन बड़ आने कार्यक्रम जहाँ रहकर तबर धेरे स्पोर्ट्स संबंधी गतिविधि जानकारी पाँद आने भे सोई सन्दर्भ में आज हमीर यह बुद्ध स्पोर्ट्स को एपिशोड में अलग फरक संभवत पैलोचोटी नहीं होने पर्च इस क्षेत्र में इसी कर जो ये बेला जो नेपाल को लगी क्रिकेट को डेवलप को लगी विशेषगरी अस्ट्रेलिया एकजा यो तो व्यक्ति अलग को ग्रास लेवल में रहकर क्रिकेट लगाड़ी बढ़ा को लगी वहाँ निरंतर लगी रख् इस क्षेत्र इस क्षेत्र का प्रतिभा स्टेज पाई रह यानी कि ग्राउंड पाई रह सोई सन्दर्भ में रहकर आज हमी कानी करने आज हमीस पाना हो यो व्यक्ति जो सब मलिक हम भाषा भाई फरक भाषा में रहकर वहाँस कुराकानी करते टुडे वी हेव अ गेस्ट स्टीव एल रोबर्ट अल द वे फ्रम द अस्ट्रेलिया He is a person who is now caring and developing the Nepali cricket fortunity, especially the grass label. Yes, Steve, you are welcome to the Buddha Television program, Buddha Sports. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste to our viewers. Uh, thank you so much. You are coming here to in our studio. Uh, what kind of the sector you are mostly preparing for the developing of cricket of Nepal, especially? So I have two focuses. Uh, my most focus obviously is the overall ground root level. I want to work with the base, set a good strong foundation and I have a strong um, passion for the women's cricket as well. So I'm looking for the youth up to under 16 boys and I'm looking for the women's cricket to develop that as well. Uh, actually, I'd like to ask one, one must question in my mind there is uh, always running this question. Uh, what kind of the people they are playing mostly cricket in the Australia and you are seeing here also now you are almost working for two three months here over uh, what kind of the people you are looking for the actually to make a national player ah uh, that's a very good question i'm looking for that talented one that little extra spe special something even the one who's very dedicated to the training turns up every day on time and is very committed to learning the cricket that's the one we're looking for that one with that small extra kick for sure we can all work hard and we can all be the best we possibly can be. But obviously, you know, um, Nepal has a large pool of people who are talented, but we need to give them the platform to perform. So I'm looking for a couple of special ones, but also I want the grassroots to, to come along because I think uh, cricket is a very good game. It's good for your life. It's good for your health. It's good for Nepal. Uh, actually, in your description, actually in your own description, uh, actually what like of the game is cricket is mostly it is the one of the dedicated game or one of the idealistic game or one of the um, most powerful game in your opinion? Uh, very good question. Um, it, it, and it's a little difficult for me to answer because I am a passionate about cricket. So, of course, I have a bias. Uh -huh. But I think uh, to me, it's a powerful game. It can make you strong and powerful, even for the women. You know, it empowers them to learn, to lead, to be the captain, to make good decisions on the field. These good decisions you can use to make in your life as well. You mean to make a quick decision, the correct one. So it's a powerful game. It gives <laughs> you power from within. Uh, yeah, definitely. And now you are working over the grassroots people, how they are supporting you, actually they are supporting you or not? Or what kind of the responsibility govern government is taking from you or government, sometimes you need the help of the government as well to develop a cricket in a local area mostly. Uh, what kind, right now where you are staying and what you are doing over there? Uh, so um, I have been before to Nepal but this time I'm coming for an extended time and uh, um, uh, we'll speak a bit more about that later with, in terms of extension to visa. Um, so this time I'm, I'm here in Tolewa, Tolewa yes. and we are developing a new academy called Nirvana Cricket Academy because it is so close to the birthplace of Buddha. Buddha yeah. So we can celebrate the birth. This is a very uh, important thing for Nepal. I think it's famous. And we want to make the, the uh, students from the Nirvana Academy famous too, <laughs> maybe. So with the help of the municipality, um, I'm an independent person and uh, with uh, not very big knowledge of the political atmosphere here, mm -hmm. I'm being very careful to remain independent from any political party. So I I'm trying to do it very carefully and not align myself with one party or another, but be very fair and just work for cricket. So I'm hoping that whichever municipality, whichever local minister can support us would be really appreciated. Um, 
and of the understanding that we are for cricket, we're not for political power. This is the important thing. Uh, definitely right now I'm talking about the cricket. Mostly the how can we develop the cricket of our country. Mostly the people who are not reaching toward the cricket in our local area, how they can grow up and how they can play the game with the right coach who can coach them very nicely right now with me there is steve who all the way from the australia and right now he is working in the different academy of nepal especially right now he is in the Tawlihawa and he's working over there with the mostly the girl and boys under 16. Uh, steve i like to ask one more question uh, what kind of the things uh, you think that now i have to work for the nepalese cricket fraternity uh, how it's come in your mind in in terms of the overall picture yeah so uh, Nepal at the moment um, it has a very good opportunity. Uh, despite the condition of the board, the controlling body is, is in some controversy and some mm. poor shape. The players themselves, people like Paris Kadka, yeah. Sandeep Lamashain, they have done a fantastic job. Despite all the problems, the lack of salary, they have taken Nepal to ODI status. How wonderful and amazing is that? It's something to be proud yeah. of. And uh, the rest of the world, people like me, are taking notice. So we need to support them. We, we, we need to try and to help them. But this is the top level. I am working here at the bottom mm. level because we need to bring the next generation through. Yeah, definitely. We are looking for the next ones. So uh, we, we need support and we need help. But you can play at this local level. Uh, just next week on the 7th and 8th of December, we are taking a team of our junior girls uh, from Nirvana, Nirvana, mm -hmm. we are taking, um, we, we uh, are joining a few girls from my Badabas Academy near Janakpur, Janakpur and we're taking a combined team to play in Dung. Now this is a friendly tournament, T20, so the girls can be exposed to cricket, playing proper games against an opposition. It's a friendly game, but also we have the eight national games coming up. So there will be selection camps coming up. So it is good for these girls to get exposure to playing. Also the selectors, we hope, will take notice ah, we need to have a camp for these girls so we can make selection for the district. So uh, we are working at this grassroots level to try and get them up to the eight national games. Once we are there, we're then hoping that the coaches and the ones that are looking for talent mm -hmm. will take these girls on. So it's a, it, it's a pathway. It's a direction that we need to go. Uh, definitely. Uh, from now you are working over the Nepalese Cricket 1480. Uh, after some time, when I can say that our team will uh, get a great performer like uh, Bradley, Vicky Ponting, Adam Gilchrist, they are the great name for the Australian cricket. I know them very well by seeing their matches. Uh, after how many years we can produce such likes of the uh, cricketer at the age of 19, 20, at the age of their age, we can play under 19, under 21. Uh, when can you can produce such likes of the cricketer from the Nepal? Th this is the cru crucial age. Crucial age is, is under 19. Yeah. But um, as with our academy policy, we have this under 16 policy for our boys. So we believe that if we can bring these boys up to a certain level under 16, we can then pick the ones with some extra special talent. We're looking for the Sandeep Lama chain, mm -hmm. for the new Paris Katka. Mm -hmm. So, and we believe we can find him. It is a five year project though. You know, we, we need the municipality, we need the sports minister, we need the National Sports Council to help us to bring it up to the level. But we need to show these people that there is a future in cricket the parents can't be expected to support these boys if there is no future. So I look to Paris Kadkar and Sandeep Lamachain. Um, Sandeep particularly, he is having to travel overseas to earn some money. Yep. This is, it's good for him and it's wonderful, but what about those other 11 players in the national team? Mm -hmm. Who is paying their wage? Uh, and then I look at the women's team, the national women's team. Do you know what salary the national women's captain is on? <laughs> Rubina Chetri? No. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Yeah, definitely. She has to struggle and fight and work some part-time jobs and she maybe organize some girls to go to a tour for India to try and maybe win a tournament to get some, oh, yeah. you know, it's quite sad. So I think the, hopefully soon the board will be, re uh, what's the word for, uh, become active again in the proper way. Then they can allocate some funds to some contracts so as people can survive and make cricket their career. So at the moment in my grassroots level, uh, I have an academy manager mm -hmm. because it's very important to have a proper business structure. Yeah. 
this academy manager has a salary. So this young lady, she has done her bachelor's, yeah. she's studied hard. Now we need to give her a job. Definitely. So we are providing her a job in this academy. Our director, we need to pay these salaries. So the same in Bardabas. We need to make sure, and this is my way of starting the grassroots. Mm -hmm. We're starting a proper business structure around each academy. It's not just something that will happen for two or three weeks and go away. This is a five-year plan and hopefully with the students and the fees the students pay, it then becomes self-building. Uh, let me know about uh, you know, what kind of the style the Australian cricket are developing. They are developing day by day. Yes. I know right now also there is the Smith, Warner, there are many players. Yes. How they are getting a chance as a national team. There is a many different types of the tournament in the Australia. That is the perfect way to found a good player, is it? Um, we have, because as, as cricket is becoming more commercial mm -hmm. and more um, sponsor driven and, and, and more popular, uh, we have the introduction of the T20 games. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little bit confusing for the player. The test players from the, we're all our heroes from long ago, yeah. you know, we used to be play straight and think, but now we need to be like a Glenn Maxwell, well, inventive with the yeah. shots. <laughs> T20 players. In Nepal, we play a lot of T20. So, it's very difficult to um, find a star. For the short term in my academy, we will always be training proper technique, but we'll also do the extra work. We call it 360 batting. Mm -hmm. 360 batting means you can bat all around. Do it. So with my younger students, we teach them not only straight batting, proper cricket strokes, but we then also have extra classes for the 360 batting. So where you look and learn the reverse sweep <laughs> and all those helicopter shots, yeah. you have some famous Indian neighbors yeah. Yeah. that have developed some wonderful shots. So it's uh, really good to find that. So looking for a star, you need someone who can be inventive. Um, luckily I'm personal friends with Glenn Maxwell. Yeah. So I, I, I like his style and I can use what he does. I've trained with him a lot so I can use his style to show these students what is possible. Yes, definitely, because uh, all the person who are from the abroad country, they are uh, choosing a Nepal. Just before two weeks ago, John Tiros was here training uh, for the under-19 team and uh, as well as other. He's also choosing for the Nepal. That is great for us. And you are also right now here. That is the great for us as well. Uh, now, I would like to ask one question that uh, after you do some work in the grassroots level, uh, you, you will be connected to the CAN, that is Cricket Association of Nepal which is mostly developing for the cricket of Nepal right now. But right now there is a must conflict and yes, you have no about that. Uh, they are helping to you or not? No, I, I haven't had much contact with them. Um, I have, I just have to re re refer to my notes because some names exactly. escape me. But uh, the local, uh, Mr. Prashant Mala, uh -huh. he's, he's had four terms here as the president of yes. the Rup and Henry cricket Association. Yes. Association. Uh -huh. he is, he is working very hard towards trying to fix these problems. Uh -huh. um, uh, the man I call the father of women's cricket here in Nepal, Mr. Lek Chetri. Yeah. I think he's a former national captain. Yeah. Uh, he is also very uh, passionate about women's cricket, but also he is working very hard in the independent panel to try and get the CAN mm. back up and working again. Uh, I believe there's a meeting for ICC coming ICC. up in the next week. So, so there's some very good things happening right now. Um, but even at a local level, um, Romit Bajachara, yeah the Butwell Development Cricket Association. Even he is such a passionate man. He has helped connect me with some people here, with you. <laughs> and uh, there are some really good people working hard here to try and make things really good. Like you say, uh, I personally don't have a connection with CAN. Mm. And probably on purpose, I've tried to stay away a little bit until they get settled. But I want them to know that I'm here. <laughs> I am ready to work with them. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'm gonna work at the grassroots level and when they are ready, we will move ahead. Uh, mostly the what kind of the technology you will teach to the grassroots level, the players mostly, for the batting purpose and filling purpose and for the uh, bowling purpose. Uh, what do you think about the ground of the Nepalese ground? How do you like um, it? Grounds here are very difficult. They're, yeah. they're, they're quite hard, quite yeah. firm. Um, the mu municipalities uh, don't care for the grounds like in Australia. Yeah. In Australia, we're very lucky. Our local municipality looks after every ground, and we have many grounds. Every suburb has a ground. So 
Uh, here it's a, a bit difficult. So what I have done personally is um, if there is not a suitable local ground run by the municipality, I've approached a school. Mm. So a school who has a field. Mm. At the moment in Tolewa, we have converted one field into a cricket pitch. Tomorrow mm. we are laying a new topsoil level mm. and some black mud for a new turf pitch. And we're constructing some nets in one corner for, for the bowling and, and batting training. So uh, the conditions of the ground are a bit difficult, but still at the moment we're using the local municipality ground. We are sharing it with another cricket club and it's fine, no problem at all. Um, so during these sessions, we do a lot of fielding training, the basic skills, but you know, obviously because of my eye for cricket, um, <laughs> looking for the talented ones, I've, I've found a really nice spinner, oh. a young boy, or oh, I think he's the new Sandy Blammer chain. <laughs> but let's give him a few Off more side. weeks and let's see how he goes. But um, yeah, I found some, and I found a very talented one of the girls is a very talented wicketkeeper. She just is natural, but she's only young. Oh, you know, maybe I think she's grade six. You know, but already she's automatic. You know, these are the ones that, with some a little bit more fine adjustments, I'm sure they will go on to be good. We have uh, four boys that we recently sent to Kathmandu to another academy. Uh -huh. So we're giving these boys a platform. If you're performing well in this academy, we'll give you the opportunity to go and train at another academy uh -huh. with another well-known person yeah. and try and improve you and then when you come back we will organize a tournament or a game maybe a possible trip to india where we can play so we're trying to provide this platform for everybody for the girls and the boys uh, mostly in our country there is almost a t20 cricket tournament is mostly they have done mm -hmm. i think t20 cricket tournament will really produce a good cricketer this is a good question. This is a good question and hard to answer. Because obviously with Nepal achieving ODI status, yeah. that is 50 over cricket. Yeah. I would like Nepal to play 50 over cricket with EPL, DPL, PPL yeah. playing the T20. Yeah. Awesome. Quick, fast, yeah. fast action. It's great to watch. It's over in you know a few hours. It's, it's good. Um, but really the ODI cricket, it's a full day. You can really start concentrating on your skills then you can develop to two day cricket four day Pretty cricket good. test cricket um so yes we're, we are probably going to develop a lot of powerful hitters and uh, some bowlers that will really need to really work on their skills the bowler is really suffers hard under t20 it's difficult for the bowlers but that's something we can teach them mostly the t20 is entertainment based game but it does not produce a good oh. cricketer i think in my opinion yeah. because uh, we don't know about the cricketer how much stamina he or she have because in t20 they even they can't sit properly and they have to start to hit they have to start to hit it's very difficult it's very difficult i try to say to my girls when they're playing you know take three balls before you hit because um i've seen the nepalese girls they face a ball and they try to hit straight away and next thing you know their stumps are gone you know and it's disappointing for them because they've lost their opinion if they just take that extra one or two balls just to get their eye in i think it's a better way you should be able to absorb three balls and then accelerate from that but it, it is yeah even the other day t10 cricket yeah. i saw some right now, yeah. i'm very concerned about that <laughs> that is going to be a very difficult game to play <laughs> actually that uh, t10 and t20 mostly that game for the uh, the person who came to was yes in my opinion yeah, yes. in my opinion it's for the spectator uh, uh, really. for the yeah. person who is the out of the ground for yeah. the input entertainment yes. but actually i am the cricketer i have to play the cricket for the national team or i have to go to the abroad they mostly play the two three day game definitely yeah. you need you need another two three day game for the stamina yeah. how can you hit a double century yeah you know what is the ultimate double century <laughs> you know so if you need the two or three days to stamina build it up usman kawaja people Kal like yeah. that you know yeah. the people that really you need to knuckle down and hit it uh almost we are in the uh, we have a few times uh i i like to ask you personally uh, what kind of the cricketer they were helping to the grass level of cricketer in the australia mostly the national player will go to the ground level cricketer or not in our country mostly they some of the peoples are going to the ground level because they are going to select some nice uh, talent on uh, as like that in the Australia also same way they are producing so in Australia what we usually organize is um, basically we have a lot of coaches like myself who work at the ground level in the clubs we have some some good coaches and uh, Cricket Australia always um, for level one coaching um, they always provide plenty of courses during the year that you can attend and become a coach yourself then you can progress to level two and even level three if you can get that far um, so there are many coaches at that at that ground level 
But what they usually organise is a clinic. Say in the school holidays, when mm. there's a school break, mm -hmm. they will bring a national player mm. and they'll have a clinic. So we do have exposure. Um, with the, like you with the EPL, and we have the mm. Big Bash League. Yeah. Around that time, we have a lot of um, clinics and a lot of things. And because there are so many players in a concentrated area, they usually have clinics yeah. for the kids to come. So it's a short, quick period, but it's good. Then over the year, usually the, uh, the state level players, so that's the level underneath the national level, they will go and run clinics at academies. And it's quite good those because they'll run a clinic for five days. That's when they can really get down to skill enhancement of the boys and girls. Uh, what do you think after how many years cricket, uh, Nepalese cricket uh, style will be definitely product and definitely develop? After how many years you see that the, our player will play like a uh, Indian, like a Sri Lankan, like Australian. After how many years you can think about that? In real, obviously you've achieved ODI status now, but you know you're at the bottom scale yeah. and, and, and you will have to really perform well and you will need young talent coming through all the time to, to push, push, push. Um, personally, it's probably five years, but that's only my personal opinion. You know, maybe if you find two or three superstars, it will be <laughs> next year. You know, maybe. because you never know when you can find one that stands out. So I would say five years is my is my. But let's hope. Let's hope. You know, let's hope. Yeah. 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 Of course, you need to look after the players. The problem is, if the players get an opportunity to go and play abroad, you will lose him. And uh, every country is looking for good players. Uh, right now you are working for the cricket of Nepal. It's the same like if the, our government work, then in how many years the Nepal will take uh, that uh, in the next level of the cricket? If the government work for the Nepal cricket fraternity or can, if they work for the can, then what kind of the thing actually mostly the government have to do for the Nepalese cricket? Uh, really, I think the, the, the government should provide the facility. The, the government is the one that can provide the land for the ground, develop the ground. They really need to do the bigger projects because that is um, a very difficult thing for the private investor or whatever to invest in. Um, I know the comedy duo here yeah. are, are trying to raise and build. We actually have some special jerseys that we have um, made as a fundraising. We have the Nevada Cricket Academy yeah. here and the Badabas Cricket Academy that we are trying to sell these jerseys off. There's a limited number and uh, to donate the money that we make from that to that foundation so as we can uh, hopefully just assist in a small way to develop these areas. But really the government needs to do this. This is so critical. They need to do it now before the land is lost too. I know in the Butwell area, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to get land now. You have to move out of the area to find land for a ground. So it's very important the government moves quickly. Uh, now you are looking in the different categories of the cricket tournament. Just now we met over the TPL2. Yes. Uh, what do you think that from like a TPL2 or any other game, uh, how the uh, new talent will get chance from the such kind of the game, is it? Definitely. You, I think we awarded the emerging player. Yeah. 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 So he, he is now recognized. His name is there. Everyone knows. But obviously, we don't want to lose him to his work life or his study life. Yeah. You know, he's an emerging player. We need to find him the next platform. But within that whole, there are many talented players within that whole TPL. Yeah. Very good. So those emerging young ones, I think the emerging player was even a st school student. Yeah, still. yeah definitely. 14 young. years. Yeah, 15, something, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So you can see that under 16 level, which is what I was talking about, is, in, is important, is critical. Yeah. This is where the talent is lying and we need to find it. So. With those TPL and thanks to the promoters of the TPL, I think, uh, what is the president of the uh, TPL? Sunil or Deepak? Yes, Deepak. yes, both, yeah. yeah you know, coordinator. It's, it's great to have these men promoting these events. It's really good. I know the DPL, um, I've been lucky enough to be invited to DPL as a guest. Um, their president of that association too, uh, he's doing a good job to promote these things. Yeah. And this is where the emerging players can come from. Because in Nepal at the moment, there are not many tournaments happening, especially for the women, I have to say. I think the women maybe play three games. It's terrible. The PM Cup, uh, regional eighth Cup. national games, yes, and maybe they'll have a local regional. It's, it's hard to emerge. So we need uh, to help. Definitely, we have a very short time. Uh, what do you say? Mostly the emerging player who are going nowadays, they are playing for the, their own team. Mm. What you mostly say, their guardian not to the student who are playing the cricket what you like to say the 
portion whose son or daughter is playing nowadays cricket for their father and mother what do you like to say at last please i believe that nepal cricket is right on the edge of emerging so if the parents can keep supporting right now you are very close you've just achieved odi status uh, people like me, there's other Australians, I know there's Englishmen, there's other people coming to this country looking to help, looking to provide a platform. For the parents, I would say keep going, keep trying, don't give up because we are very close to having great success. Nepal is a great country, we should support it. Definitely, thank you so much for your wonderful time. No problem at all. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste. Pakistan ne aaja hamile kura kani kariyo. Nepal ko cricket ko bishay mara. Nepal le abo ka din ma kosher cricket la angadi loy jana shaksha. Abo ko din ma cricket angadi jana lai. Nepal le kiko sto kura ma khel gare bani. Nepal aaja angadi jana shaksha. Yuva talent aur le kosher aushar paunu porsa. Raidip Nepal ma mahila cricket team bhi ragda bani. Mahila cricket team ali kati pachi pare ko shabani. Kura bani yahan ira ayo aaja hamisa ko kura kani karna ko lagi. Jo Nepali aidi bala sa Nepal me hununsa. Jo Australia nagri hununsa. स्टीव जी जो हमें लाइसेंस में दिया रहे हैं ऐसा मानव वहाँ लेते हैं तब एको तौली हवा मानते हैं यदि बेला से एकेडमी रन कर रहे हैं यहाँ से नया प्रतिभा वाला खुद दे होने चाहिए यदि तब एक तो क्षेत्र बड़ा होने चाहिए या होने ना या आने कुने क्षेत्र बड़ा होने चाहिए या तब एक गार्डन हो लेते बेला हमें ल Pal.